This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have the very common error on a Bosch dishwasher, the E25. Also sometimes it'll say E24, but it's just a problem with the drain system. It's really easy to fix. Uh, usually do not need parts. Very infrequently would you ever need to order a new drain motor. Almost never. So I'm just testing it out at this point. I'm going to start it up, close it. I've got the drain tube unhooked from the air gap near the sink. I have it in a bucket. I'm going to see if the water will just drain directly into a bucket. You can also kind of shake the tube at this point in case there's something caught in the tube. Sometimes it'll, it'll work itself out. Oftentimes that air gap thing is the, is the cause, but in this case, the air gap uh, was not clogged and no water came out. Now I'm pressing the start button for about three to four seconds until it says 001, and that's supposed to start uh, a drain sequence. You can kind of hear something going on, like maybe a humming sound, but no uh, water shooting out. And I know there's water in there, so I'm thinking there might be something caught on the impeller or the impeller housing, the thing that covers it might be loose. So I'm just kind of going through this step by step. So pressing start, picking a cycle, pressing start, and when I close it, again, it should set up the drain, it should be the first thing that happens, but still, giving it a couple of minutes here, but still no water coming out at all so probably something jamming the impeller sometimes things work themselves in there like uh, seeds or a little chip piece of a, a porcelain mug or if a glass breaks like a wine glass breaks some of the glass will find its way past the filter and it'll get down uh, in where the impeller is and the impeller will get jammed so now I'm lifting the lower spray arm out and I'm going to take the filter out and then down in the sump area where this this big hole is I'm going to feel in there to see if I can feel the uh, drain housing and then I'm going to pull it away from me and I'm going to pull out this white drain housing thing or drain uh, impeller cover it's kind of like an impeller protector a little piece of white plastic and if this thing is loose, it can also cause this problem of no drain. But I'm just going to reach down there and feel the little impeller. I'll show it to you here in a second. But the impeller is like a little propeller that spins. And in this case, this thing is not spinning easily. It should spin really easily. Just using my index finger to push it around. It seems like it might be stuck. So I'm going to unplug it. Do a little more investigation. I'm going to just pull off this upper rack by pulling it off the wheels. And I'm going to use a little cup to get the, get the water out of there. The reason you want to get the water out of there is just so you can see more what's going on. So I usually use a cup and a bucket. You can use a shop vac is a real fast way to do this. Uh, when I get down in lower, I use a turkey baster to get the water out because a cup won't fit in there. Turkey baster works pretty good. So now I can see in there a little better, and I can see where the uh, impeller is, the part that spins, that allows the dishwasher to drain. And before I felt that that thing was just stuck, like it wasn't moving. So I'm going to look in there and see if maybe there's something got caught in there. This is the little cover for the impeller. And again, if this thing gets loose from its housing, it'll cause the same drain problem. There's our impeller, and putting the uh, cover back in, and I still I still think there's something caught in there, so I took the cover back out, got my index finger, trying to free it up. Moves a little bit, but still seems like there's something stuck. So what I'll do is use some skinny needle nose pliers to reach down in underneath the impeller, underneath that little propeller thing to see if I can grab something. I can't see anything yet, but I, I know something's jamming it. I know something's uh, keeping it from moving. In all the years I've been repairing these Bosch dishwashers, I've never had to replace these, uh, 
these drain motors, so they're really tough. So usually when they don't work, it's because something's jamming up the impeller. So I'm using this hook tool now to kind of hook in underneath the impeller, and I feel something. It feels some, something hard, so I'm suspicious. My suspicion is it's a piece of glass or a piece of chip porcelain. I can kind of see something shiny, so I think that is glass. And I'm going to move around now until I can get that thing where it's visible. And then I can use, uh, I'm going to use this tricky base to get a little more of that water out of there. And then I can use my needle nose pliers to, if I can see it, I can pull it out. A lot of times it's really easy to just see it right away. This one's just hiding from me. So I'm going to use the needle nose pliers now. I think I see it. And slipped out again so I use this hook tool and just want to be patient persistent I know it's there because I can I can get a glimpse of it but it keeps like dropping below the impeller so the hook tool works really well you can use anything that's kind of kind of pointy you could even use like a straightened uh, coat hanger would get in there this little hook tool is nice you can there's there it is it's a little piece of glass so this thing found its way underneath the impeller and it was just keeping that impeller from spinning. So that will solve the problem. Now I'm going to put that housing back in. It's real important that it's put in nice and tight. So I'm going to push it down first all the way in. It'll kind of fit into position. And then up at the top, I'm going to push the top of it in toward me so it clicks in to the uh, sump housing. And I heard it click, so I know I got it. So now I'm going to put the pieces all back in, and then I'll give it a test. I've seen a lot of times where that just that impeller housing has come loose and causes this problem. While I got it open, I'm going to clean this filter real quick. I sped up the film a bit just to save time. But I'm just running it underneath water. And you can use a brush, or you can just use your fingers to clean all the junk out of there. Sometimes when the filter gets loose, then little things can sneak in there and find their way down into the impeller and jam it. But if you lock it in, like you want to line up these blue arrows and just confirm that it's really locked in, you should be okay. I put the uh, spray arm back in. I'm checking the upper spray arm to make sure there's nothing caught in these little holes. Looks good. I'm going to put the lower rack back in. I'll close it up and then I'll go ahead and um, hook the drain system back up because it I had disconnected the drain from the air gap. So I'm gonna just spin off this air gap here up by the kitchen faucet. I'm gonna push it down into the cabinet so I can get to it a little bit easier because it's really hard to work with those hoses underneath the sink. But if you pull it down, then you have nice access to it. Here's the air gap. I'm gonna grab the drain pipe from the dishwasher and I'm going to push it back over this opening and then I'll tighten up the uh, hose clamp. The hose clamp's too tight at this point to go over so I'll loosen it up for a second and then I'll get it pushed over. Now this one fits really tight. You can also like lubricate it with a little oil to help it slip back over. You want to get it on there and get it up about maybe half an inch to an inch up onto that pipe and then you tighten up that hose clamp get it nice and tight and then what you do is just push this thing back up into the hole that's on the um, near the kitchen faucet I really prefer to do it this way instead of trying to do it uh, by reaching way up underneath the sink because it's really hard to get to that stuff There we go. So nice. That's nice and tight. I'll go ahead and push this thing back up underneath the counter. And what I like to do is reach up with one hand <clears throat> and put it into that hole and try and feel that air gap. And then I can guide it back up through the hole. And now that I have it up there, I can put the top piece back on. I'll spin the threads on. I don't want to tighten that my fingers first and then maybe use a wrench to tighten it a little bit further. 
Whenever you have a E24, E25, one of the first things to check though is this air gap thing, making sure that that little tube in the middle doesn't have anything caught in it. A lot of times it'll be like a fish bone or something and that'll cause it to jam up. Put the top back on, put the silver cap back on, and we are done. So it's doing great, filling with water, circulating the water as it should. And let's see if it'll drain it now. So I'm gonna hold that button for three to four seconds, the start button, and it'll say zero, zero, 001. Now when I close it, it'll start to drain. And we can hear it, we can see it. So that looks really good. That's all it needed was just to get that junk that was stuck, that piece of glass. So I hope that works really good for you too and you get your Bosch dishwasher draining again. To almost never do you need to get any parts, it's usually just freeing up whatever the thing is that was jamming it. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance and we'll send you some more repair videos. Thanks so much.